Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this camcorder right here, okay? So I wanted to get this because I thought that, you know, for the price of this, you know, I could take it in the woods with me and if I drop it, you know, unlike my other cameras where they're a little bit more expensive, I won't have to, you know, be so um, scared to do anything with it. So, so the price of this, guys, um, you know, it's very good. Uh, now I'm going to unbox it in front of you guys. I've already semi-used it a little bit. I charged the battery. I'm going to record a little bit and uh, I'm going to tell you what I think. And also what I did is uh, I'm going to take this uh, a couple days outside with the microphone and without the microphone and we're going to listen to see how it sounds with and without the microphone, how it looks when you're looking out you know, and zooming in and so on and so forth. Now, I'm also going to turn this on and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like inside the house and what it sounds like with the microphone and without it and so on and so forth. We're going to do the same thing on both of them, okay? Now. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this to show you what it is, okay? Now, one thing I do want to say, okay, uh, I've read the reviews on Amazon. A lot of the people on there, you know, they, they're they very, um, I don't know, they critique it a little bit too hard, okay? Now, look, okay, the description plain and simply says, okay, that this is not a high-dollar Canon, okay? They're telling you plain and simple that this is just like a first-time camera user, like for your, your child or, you know, for a first-time YouTuber, okay? This is a good camera if you're out and about to record because I mean it does record very good I mean you'll see here just in a few minutes um, and I'll record this camera that's recording me so you can see that I am actually using this camera right here okay so without further ado let me go ahead and unbox this guys um, you know take it for what it's worth okay you know it's a low price but it's a pretty decent camera okay I mean you know some people they record YouTube videos on their phone okay I used to do that and sometimes I still do but you know this thing's a lot better than that. Let's unbox it. All right, so as you see, the boxing is very good, okay? And, you know, it's 4K, 30 megapixel, video camera, digital camera, external mic, wireless, wide dynamics, double colors, anti-shake, remote control, and time-lapse, okay? Now, what do you get in the box, all right? Let's look and see. All right. When you first open the box, obviously your user manual will be right here, okay? You need to read this, okay? They're all the same, basically, but just go ahead and read it. So this is the charger, okay? Pretty good length of cord on it. We'll go ahead and set this to the side. All right, you got an HDMI cable. Your camera. You got a remote. And you even got a little carrying case. How nice, huh? Fits perfectly right in there. Now, the camera part, what we all came to see. This is the camera, okay? Do you see what it is? I mean, it is what it is right here, right? It doesn't have a lens cover, so you ha either have to make sure you put it in that case or, you know, you do something with it. All right, it's got a nice strap. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty durable strap, all right? You got your battery. So you take the battery off right here, and it slides right off. All right. The battery back on. All right when you open the when you open the door here, listen. All right, as you see, hello, you see me. Okay, it's got a light right here. So it looks like in the front, it's like a normal everyday camera. All right, so on the inside, it's very basic. Okay. You've got your power, your light, your menu, and your display and Wi-Fi. And you have your your door for your USB, your microphone, and your HD cord. Right? You just pop that down, and that's what you got. So you got you got your shoe right here on the top. Now I don't. This looks to me like it would be good for a. Uh, power a microphone now I'm gonna be honest 100% with you the microphones that I have they're all battery powered they're uh, the Comica uh, microphone so I don't really know that it would do one without it being powered mine's battery powered so which I'll show you here in a second all right you got your zoom your camera and your mode so I took this camera outside in the cool weather okay and I'm gonna tell you something about it honestly okay it was probably 35 or so outside and the wind was blowing just a little bit okay my fingers were cold and it does have a touch screen okay however 
in the cold weather with a lot of electronics. My finger of choice when I touched the screen did not actually touch that part. So I thought it was a bad camera, okay? I did honestly think so. But as it warmed up, I warmed up, the camera warmed up, screen warmed up. When I would touch it then, it would be spot on, okay? And I'm going to show you here just in a second. All right, so to touch, use the touch screen, you're going to have to hit menu. You have to hit menu. All right, you got the touch screen. Now, let's say we want to go to white balance, just because that's down a little low, okay? Bam. Okay, so like I said before, I thought it was this camera because it was cheap, cheaper than most, and I thought maybe it's a bad camera, so, but it wasn't, it was just my cold fingers, okay? To get around that, you can use, which I had did, you can use the buttons here to figure out, all right, so you'll hit the menu again, right? You'll get there now. To use the buttons, you just use the top buttons here, and you see it spin, here, I can delete this, so you'll see it, and the picket, you just, like that. Okay, pretty easy, right guys? All right, so let me show you the light here, okay? You got three different choices. You got the low one, you got a different color one, as you can see in there, and then you got a little brighter one, okay? And to turn it off, all you do is hit the menu button. Now, what we've all been waiting for, what does the quality of it look like? Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna record with this, and I'm gonna look in that one, okay? Okay, so I had to turn my lights off in the back because there was so much light from my uh, tripod lights that uh, it was blinding this one completely out because it's pretty bright in here as you can see now how it's not So all right, let me show you what this thing looks like All right, there I am Hello, and there's the microphone I mentioned All right, so this is how I would vlog with this camera if I was to vlog with it without a tripod now I don't have the anti-shake on or anything um, but this is how I would vlog with it if I was to vlog with this camera and not the other one with no microphone whatsoever. So now let me go ahead, push the microphone in here and see what it does. Now also I'm going to turn this light on to see what it looks like with the light on. So there is the light on the camera. Okay, that's the first light. Let's do the second light. Alright, and there's the second light. Now I would assume that there's probably a glare on my glasses. Not sure because I can kind of see a little bit of glare. Let's try the third light. All right, and there's the third brighter light. So this probably is good for, you know, very low light situations when you're trying to get, when you're trying to get, you know, your subject lit up pretty good. Now I would say it's probably good in the complete darkness, but it's light here. Unfortunately, even if I turn the lights overhead off, it would still be light in here. Okay, the record button, which I probably did forget to show you, is right here on the back. It's easy. You put your thumb in there, and you can just, you know, control it like that. Pretty cut and dry, guys. Okay, it does come with a remote. And the remote does work. I read some reviews said that the remote does not work. It does have a hard time picking it up from behind. Why would you even be behind the camera trying to use a remote when you're trying to record yourself? That doesn't make any sense to me, okay? But the remote does work from the front. I've had no issues with it whatsoever from the front. I tried it from the back just to see what people were talking about. It works from the side, both sides, but the back, it does not work. I mean, it does work, but it, you've got to be kind of close, okay? I still don't understand why you would want to use the remote from the back. Makes no sense to me. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to put the microphone on top here. I'm going to show you what it looks like with this camera. So from this part on, I'm going to use this camera. I'm going to put it on the tripod and I'm going to see what it looks like. We're going to vlog with it for a few minutes without the microphone and with it. And that way it will be no shaking, you know, no moving around. You'll get the full light and we'll see what happens. I'm going to turn my lights back on too. Okay, we are back. I just used the remote to turn off and on. No problems. Now watch. I will go ahead and I will zoom in. No problems. Zoom out. And I'm using the remote. I mean, this is me. You see my finger going down. You see going down and out. Okay. No problems with the remote. Okay. Now, like I said before, you know, this is how I would vlog with it on the um, tripod where it's not as shaky. You know, the lights are good. So you can see the clarity between my other camera, which I know is good, versus this one. Okay. Now, this is the native no microphone whatsoever on it, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and put my microphone back on it, which is this one right here, the Comica. Okay, very good microphone. Um, I have no problems with this whatsoever. It is battery, as you can see the light on. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in. I'm gonna let you listen to it, just with the microphone. Okay, now, I'm hoping that this go around, it does sound a lot better. It should. Uh, I'm assuming that 
everything is good. We're going to definitely check it out and see. Uh, like I said, this is how I would vlog with it if um, I was using the microphone, which I am now, without using the stock microphone. Okay, now, I will be taking this outside. It's pouring down rain today, so I can't do it today. But tomorrow, it's supposed to be sunny. We're going to go in the woods, and we're going to listen, because you'll be able to hear nothing but the birds, and you'll be see crisp, nice, um, you know, leaves. You'll see the bushes, the trees, so it'll be very good on this camera to see what it looks like and how it acts. All right, so uh, we are back out here in the woods now. Um, you can see way behind me here. And uh, this is the test outside now. Uh, the sun is coming and going. Unfortunately, right now I got cloud coverage and uh, it was actually starting to rain, so I didn't want to stay out here too much longer. And the wind is blowing fiercely. So uh, I believe this is a pretty good, a pretty good little camera. Uh, you know, I'm still going to give my final review when I get home, but I just wanted to show you some zooming in. Uh, what I got here, um, I have a range finder, uh, and I range this road. Where I'm going to be pointing to you in just a second, and uh, it's right at 325 yards. So when I show it to you, you'll be able to see, and I'll zoom in as far as I can, obviously with the camera, and then you can see. All right. So the road is, so I can touch it, is right about there. All right. It's about 325 yards, roughly. All right. There's a close-up on my dog. Bailey. Bailey. Okay, so this is how I would vlog with it normally. Uh, I didn't bring the microphone either because, first of all, when I did the review on this, I left the batteries on and it went completely dead. And I don't have any more batteries, so I had to stop at Walmart and get some. Went in there and I forgot the batteries, so we're just doing it without the microphone. Oh. I believe the stock microphone is pretty decent. I mean, I've got this thing, what, uh, three and a half feet from my face, and uh, it sounded pretty good both ways with the microphone and without it. So, now I don't know about out here in the open because of the wind blowing, but other than that, I think it's a decent sound on the camera. bit of footage of the clouds going by also all right so we are back home now you know as far as I'm concerned you know this camera right here is pretty decent okay uh, for the price you know uh, if you're just getting into YouTube or you just need a camera just to take out in the woods with you or fishing or leaving the car so you can record you know whatever you might see um, you know, to me, this is a pretty good deal. I mean, as far as this camera goes, you know, they put right on the description. I'm reading this straight off Amazon, okay? It says, this camcorder is designed for amateurs, not professionals, okay? And it goes on to tell you all about it. Now, they are so honest with you. And yet, when you scroll down to the comments, it's like, what? I mean, they're telling you it's not, you know, a Canon like I'm using or a GoPro or, you know, or a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. They're telling you, plain and simple, that it's not. And when you see the price, 150 bucks, it's your own fault if you complain about it, okay? I'm okay with it. Uh, you know, I'm not making, you know, Logan Paul videos or, you know, or PewDiePie or whatever, you know. But when I use this camera, you know, it's pretty clear. The GoPro is very clear. So, I mean, you know, but it is what it is. Those, these, I bought those cameras for a reason. So, you know, and this one right here, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. So, if you're looking for, a, you know, a cheaper camera... That's your camera, guys. I mean, seriously, it's pretty decent for the price. All right, guys, if you like what you see here, like and subscribe. God bless. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Have fun.